The Bugatti Veyron successor. What's the top speed they are claiming? I'm gonna tell you. Ferrari's turbocharged 458 is just going to be glorious. Aston Martin will relinquish some new Vanquish specs along with the Rapid S. And BMW could build another new compact sports sedan. Plus, rapid fire news. You okay? Yeah. All right. What's going on, everybody? It's Friday. I'm your host, Derek D. And I'd like to welcome you to the wonderful world that is Fast Lane Daily on a what, Max? Friday. Oh, man. Love it. TGIF. Episode number 1921. Thanks, AK. And in the year 1921, a GM engineer discovered that by adding lead to gas, it eliminated the knock sound from internal combustion engines. Oil companies then added the deadly poison to gas for nearly 50 years before finding a different additive. You know, since deadly poison and all. Right. Yeah. And that right there is your 1921 fact. Hey, did you guys watch FLD Nights last night? Oh, yes. Sure did. If not, no worries. The link is in the description if you haven't yet. It was our first one, and they're only going to get better as we go. Learn as you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Thanks for watching. All right. So before we get rolling into the meat of today's episode, we here at FLD wanted to wish Jesse Lang from J-Turn a continued recovery after her brutal crash in Germany a little while back. We'll put a link in the video. Oh, sorry. We'll put a link in the description to the video of her dramatic injury and her recovery to get back on the road. Pretty crazy, I watched it before. But uh, she's doing better, it's cool. All right, Bimmer Post, which is the source of all things BMW, is stirring up some rumors of a BMW 1 Series sedan, again. Citing a report from Automotive News. This is not to be confused with rumors of a 2 Series Grand Coupe. The news suggests a distinct four-door 1 Series is on the way, again. The compact sports sedan will apparently arrive in 2017 with a new front-wheel drive setup. Yes, front-wheel drive setup, not rear-wheel drive like the 1 Series was before. Tom, your thoughts? Uh, really disappointed. Yeah, Tom has a 1 Series and he loves that it's rear-wheel drive. I don't blame him. The 1 Series 4-door will directly rival the Audi A3 sedan. Hmm. They're going to fight to the death. See who wins. Aston Martin has revealed the 2015 model years for its Vanquish and Rapide S with all kinds of updates for each. First off, both models will gain new 8-speed Touchtronic 3 automatic transmissions, <laughs> mm. which will improve shift times and fuel economy. Sounds high tech. For the Vanquish, it cuts the 0 to 60 time down to 3.6 seconds, and the Rapide S takes 4.2 seconds. <laughs> Bam! Love it. And check this out. Top speed for both cars increased to over 200 miles per hour. Mm. I, go, I go righty all the time. Yeah, Get yeah. Right out there. Yeah. And fuel economy has been improved to 26 miles per gallon combined for both models as well. And give me one more, Max. Mm. That was a karate chop. <laughs> <laughs> the Vanquish gains three horsepower for 2015, totaling 568 horsepower. And the Rapid S gains two over previously for 552 horsepower total. Other changes include a new ECU, wheels, and paint options. I like when the Vanquish gets some air in this video, nice. And the guy is like, oh, lovely landing. Oh, lovely landing. Yeah, but it was like, very like, mm -hmm. it was a lovely landing. Ferrari is planning to reveal the turbocharged version of its 458 Italia at the 2015 Geneva Auto Show. And some big changes are coming for the sports car. So chickity, check it out. It will be called the M458T. And the naturally aspirated V8 will be swapped for a twin turbo V8 making 675 horsepower, which is about a 100 horsepower bump over the current car. Quite substantial, Max. Uh, yeah. Indeed. AK, okay, there's a chair there. <laughs> Besides a whole lot of power, the M458T will get newly styled LED headlights and taillights and Apple's CarPlay functionality in a new Harman Kardon infotainment system. You know, just when I thought I couldn't love the Ferrari 458 anymore, they go and do this. I mean, I dig it. I'm all for it. All right. 
The big number is in. The expected top speed for Bugatti's Veyron successor that's due out in 2016 is, drum roll please. I was looking for it in post, but thanks Tom. I appreciate the effort and I'm going for it. <laughs> 286 miles per hour. Whoa, right? Made possible by significantly tuning the Veyron's 8 liter 16 cylinder engine for a total of 1,479 horsepower. That's about 300 horsepower more than the current car. Torque will improve to 1,100 pound feet, and 0 to 60 will be cut to 2.5 seconds. Wow. You might be thinking, hey, that is fast. But wait a second, didn't I just say on Wednesday that Hennessy's Venom F5 is gunning for a face melting 290 miles per hour right around the same time the Veyron successor debuts? The F5 is gunning for a face melting 290 miles yeah, per hour. I said that. It's almost like Hennessy knew. And they have promised an extra four miles per hour just to stick it to Bugatti. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? But hey, this is all presumed numbers. Right. None of this actually happened yet. So we'll see who follows through with the claims first. I don't know. We'll see. It's a, it's a, it's a mile per hour challenge. Mm. You know? All right, time to expedite this news reading process. It's some rapid fire news. Oh! Is that from over, is that the squirrel? What was that from? Oh, whoosh. all right, here we go. Dan Bilzerian guessing up his Mercedes G63 6x6. Must be nice. Damn, that dude gets a lot of chicks. Mazda says the new MX-5 will look nothing like before, but we'll know exactly what it will look like on September 4. This elephant needed to scratch an itch. Got up close and personal with a VW Polo. Oh, no, relax, bro. Don't worry. People inside weren't hurt, though. Don't touch my dart. New Dodge commercials with Craig Robinson and Jake Johnson. Pretty funny. That smart like a go-kart. Folk art, pie chart, martial art. This makes no sense now. Time for me to bow out right meow. And that is your rapid fire news. Pop, 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 pop. Bang. Oh! All right. <laughs> Gotta love that Super Troopers reference. Yeah, that was real nice. Right, there we go. All right, our FLD question of the day for Friday is, who are some guests you'd like to see on FLD nights? Remember, they can be anybody. Comedians, actors, models, car people, non-car people, whoever. We'll just talk to them about some fun car stuff. Or even if you have some ideas, shoot them our way. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Just get those wheels turning. Let us know in the uh, comments, of course. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and weigh in. Of course, you can send in your own to tips at fastlanedaily.com. That's right. That's a, that's a solid email. You know, you can send other stuff there if you want. You know, you don't just got to send Q of the Ds. And uh, we appreciate it. Actually, we get a lot of emails. Yeah. Yeah. Tom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is Fastlane Daily. Thanks for watching. I'm Derek D. And you go on and enjoy your weekend right now. Right now? Right now. Right now. You go and enjoy it. Okay, and now it can start because you just watched FLD. You got a smile on your face. You're feeling good. You're happy. So you're going to go enjoy your Saturday and Sunday. Right? Nice. Yeah. A lot of people like that FLD Nights. A lot of people. I watched it three times. Did you, AK? Yeah. Nice. Well, you watched it here when we previewed it. I watched it in the shower, too. <laughs> yeah, it, it was good. It was, was good that, first was that one. a real laugh? What? Was that a real laugh?